back to the shop. I'm standing beside a Titanium Explorer Autogyro. This is a demo model for a sales rep here in the U.S. and I will put a link in the description on how you can get a hold of her. But this is her demo model and it had a factory Rotax 914 on it. And I just got done installing the Edge Performance fuel injection and thought I'd do this video, do a little walk around, show some of the components that went into it, uh, talk about some of the performance differences, and uh, just give you an overview of how the install went on this uh, titanium autogyro. All right, we'll do a little walk around just to look at it a little bit. Somewhat similar to the American Ranger or the MTO Sport, but obviously the uh, main difference is the titanium frame. A lot of titanium components. This has really nice kind of side luggage compartments, storage options. Right off the bat, what is kind of recognizable is the new intercooler it's sitting on the side there. So that's going to really help lower our intake air temps as we're producing boost. We're not actually going to produce any more boost than stock, but because it's cooler, uh, it will generate a little more power. And then in the heat of summer, when uh, sometimes the charge pipe can get heat soaked and whatnot, you can actually lose fair amount of power when it gets really hot. Um, some of the components, there used to be a coolant overflow bottle that stock mounts right behind the gearbox and I have had to relocate that inside. I'll just show you, I have the back seat out. Got my laptop there for tuning. I need to do some final touches to it, but Coolant bottles now made a new bracket to set it in there. Got the fuel pressure regulator mounted in there with the uh, sensor. Returning just back to the tank. Obviously the the fuel injection plenum. We've got the inside the rail um, injectors. That's called our Trixie intake. These ignition modules get relocated a little bit to the side to make room. Carburetors always sit kind of on the side so the coolant bottle and these these modules always kind of set more toward the center so we kind of got to relocate them out. Wires don't need moved or lengthened or anything. They have enough room in the loop to uh, just kind of scoot over and out of the way and part of the kit is also just the new brackets that allow that to mount in that location. It's got the Duke Swirl 3. It's kind of neat how they have some orange anodized that matches up with uh, the Edge Performance stuff, so a little color coordinating going on. So yeah, so like on the other side, the ignition modules move over, the coolant bottle moves over, and some new uh, silicone hoses are included in the kit to allow just to uh, move that bottle over and, and run some new lines to it. Uh, a little trick on relocating is these little elbows. You can unscrew the two bolts and they just have an O-ring under them. And uh, you can just relocate instead of having to re-index or, or turn those elbows, you can actually just, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, the number two cylinder elbow moves over to the number four cylinder, and then the number four moves to the number two, and uh, in that location, uh, everything lines up and works pretty well. On this one, I ended up mounting the ECU kind of to the, the wastegate servo plate there and then came out of the gas escalator 
to the dual fuel pump assembly right up to the high pressure fuel filter and then it comes into the rail. A little dark there for the throttle cable installation. Just used the the stock throttle cable and mounted it with the carburetor 90 degree sweep here and just went into the uh, the single instead of needing dual cables now you can do a single cable but this is this is going to go do some some flying to see how it, it works right now um, it has not been flown yet but I have done the tuning uh, set up in factory condition with the 914 this prop was set to achieve to hit 5700 rpm on takeoff at the 40 40 and a half inches manifold pressure i was getting with this setup i was hitting 5700 rpm at 34 inches of manifold pressure so we we're obviously the intercooler was really helping to give it some more power I added two degrees of pitch to this four blade prop so each blade got two more degrees of pitch and now I hit about 5700 at 39 inches of manifold pressure so we're just gonna leave it there uh, no need to push it too hard if the power isn't needed we can push a little harder if she decides that she wants that more power we're just gonna try it at this power setting see how she likes it um, get a little feedback um, maybe do some cruise setting uh, boost changes just uh, for the rpm range she likes to cruise in and, and get a good fuel efficient setting for cruise but we got a good starting point so if anybody has a uh, a 914 and a carburetor and turbo and wastegate and all that's kind of making you angry this is a great conversion the the fuel injection plus the ecu control in the wastegate so much smoother so much better uh, linear turbo action and uh, a lot of controllability so we're gonna go out do some test flying and uh, i'll get some updated info in the comments once we get to that point and We'll see how the, uh, the owner likes it and likes it in her demo machine. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.